And ladies and gentlemen, here at the Mandalay Bay of Las Vegas, the end comes at 2 minutes 29 seconds, round number 8, as referee Tony Weeks steps in and calls a halt to the contest. The winner by TKO victory, still the undefeated light heavyweight champion of the world, Andre S.O.G. International Boxing Hall of Famer Andre S.O.G. Ward, gold medalist at the 2004 Olympic Games, Ward turned pro and eventually became the unified lineal two-division champion and also recognized as the pound-for-pound -pound king of boxing after the retirement of Floyd Mayweather Jr. Andre Ward was truly a complete fighter. With one of the highest boxing IQs and complementing ability, Ward could make adjustments and outthink all of his opponents. Ward could win pretty or make a fight ugly if he needed to, and he could fight at any range. A true all-around fighter with an elite boxing IQ. This is a technical video for one of the best technical fighters we have seen. I did put a short version at the end, timestamp in the comment section, but if you love the science of boxing, you should roll with me. Subscribers pick. Let's check it out. Off the bat, with two highly skilled fighters in the open stance or orthodox versus southpaw, you'll see a lead foot battle and typically a lead hand battle. A great way to control and take away an opposite stance opponent's lead hand. As well as taking away the opponent's lead hand, Ward sets successful traps off his pawing jab for very effective offense. Andre Ward was highly effective at taking away the lead hand in this fight. I don't think Chad Dawson lands a jab in this whole round. In the open stance with the inside foot position on the inside, you're basically the stem of the letter T and your opponent is the top. Ward's left hand was smothered and his right wasn't in position to punch while Dawson was in position to strike with both hands. For all my subscribers, how many times have we seen the theme of the high guard to entice the jab? It's common amongst elite fighters. It's a good trap. So at this point, you should have noticed the pattern. 
Ward controls Dawson's lead hand by pawing the jab. He notices the op isn't moving his feet on level changes or when he steps or shuffles in and instead is trying to land a counter three. Let's see what he does. So he feints the paw, widens his stance, which leaves space, shoots the two to the body, all to land a perfect long range three. Knockdown. A perfect adjustment from one of the highest boxing IQs in the sport, Andre SOG Ward. few moments later Dawson may be calling an end to this himself. And that's a wise choice. He's done. 